joined here by former England cricketer Ryan Sidebottom. It's a really close uh, test series between India and England. It's one apiece going into the third test uh, with the pink ball, the day-nighter. Um, how do you see uh, England getting on in the third test? It's, um, it's, I think it's anyone's guess at the moment because there's a with pink ball under lights, um, maybe a little bit, con bit of confusion between a team selection on both sides. I still think that it will be a spinner's track. Um, you know, recently I've just looked to the wicket and it, it has had a tinge of green, but I think they'll shave all that off come come tomorrow. Um, but England, you know, I think Bess will come back in um, with Leach or will Joe Root be the second spinner? Because he bowled pretty well. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. I think Zach Crawley will come in for Rory Burns and then Johnny Bairstow will come in at three probably for Dan Lawrence. So, I think this is a stronger looking um, team uh, to England's batting order. Um, you know, Rory Burns has struggled for runs of, of late. And then India, I think they'll stick with the, pretty much the same team unless, you know, they feel that the pink ball is going to swing around and seam around early on. I think, I think the big key for me is 2.30 start. That last session is going to be crucial because of the due. Um, you know, will it be tough for the spinners to grip or will it just skid on and help the spinners? Will it seem around or swing a little bit under under the light? So, again, it's anyone's guess uh, for both teams. And you've mentioned in the previous two series how for England, the top of the order is so important for the batsmen. Is that going to be the case here again? I think so. It, it's so crucial in India, especially, you know, a new batsman coming in, facing spin, bounce, turn, um, seamers where it may skid on and, and keep low. So it, it helps to capitalise. That top order will set the tone for the team. And with Johnny Bairstow, Zach Crawley, obviously outstanding young batsman as well. I think he will probably play. Um, you know, that will help England to go in some way to win in this test match. But again, it'll probably be trial by spin. Yeah, definitely. And in terms of England's batsmen, how do you think they'll cope for this time? And who do you think will be uh, playing for England? Uh, Jeffrey Archer and uh, Jimmy Anderson back in or? Yeah, look, you, you would probably, if the pink ball, I mean, it's I've seen, you know, a lot of things on social media, the guys saying actually the pink ball swung around a little bit more than the red ball and seemed around a little bit. I think they'll take all the grass off it. But again, with due under lights, I would like to see your best two bowlers in Broad and Anderson operating. You know, the big players, you know, the, the big occasion, you know, they come to the party when they're needed. Um, it'd be nice to probably see those two and maybe Joffrey Archer. Um, you know, those three, um, they're probably the biggest three, the biggest threat with Ben Stokes, you know, as a fourth seamer. And then you've got, you could go Rue Bess or Rue Leach or Bess and Leach. So there's, you know, we'll have to wait and see what team selection is going to be. But I think England is still in a really good position and they'll be chomping at a bit. It's going to be in front of, what, 55,000. It's great to see crowds back as well. And that is what crowds back players playing in front of big crowds and I mean what a stadium that stadium is unbelievable isn't it it's absolutely stunning um, so I think England will be looking forward to this game immensely Definitely. and who do you think the big dangers will be from the Indian side well I think look in India now after that last test they're all going to be void you know um, Virat Kohli got some runs under his belt you know they're all, they all played pretty well didn't they as a batting lineup, and you know Aksar Patel making his debut ball brilliantly um, you know, Ashwin is probably the danger man, isn't he? Um, you know, he's an experienced player, brilliant uh, test bowler, you know, operator, and also he's batting. And um, so we'll have to wait and see again. India have picked a few extra seamers. Um, you know, they've gone Siraj and Yadav, who have come into the party. In terms of, they probably don't know whether it's going to swing and seam around. So I think it's great to have all those options, and that's what both teams are looking to have. Um, if the wicket changes or if they take too much grass off it. And um, obviously it's uh, nicely poised, this uh, test series, one each. Uh, whoever wins this, do you think will go on to win the series as a whole? I think so. I think this test is really crucial for both teams. It, it's the, you know, you're playing in front of a, a big crowd as well. It's going to be a great occasion. And I think, yeah, whoever wins this test will go on, I think, and win win the test series. There's going to be no draws in this test series, absolutely guaranteed. So whoever wins this one, it'll go on to win 3-1, definitely. And with that being said, who do you think is going to win this uh, <laughs> test? Oh, 3-1 England. Come on, England. <laughs>